Welcome. We are at day 1B of the Canadian Nationals for X-Wing. We're in Toronto. This coverage is brought to you by VTTV. We're about to start round one of Swiss. Uh, I'm your host, Emily. My co-host, Aaron, is currently checking to see who has initiative. So we've got uh, a Palp Aces and a Scum Salad this morning. Awesome. So Dan has the initiative. Uh, that means Fweek will be moving last, which is awesome for Matt M. So they couldn't hear us earlier when we were going through the list? Uh, I guess not. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> sister says hi. Hey. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Strong Hammer. All right. So on the left side, we have Matt M. from Halifax, all the way out from the east. Both of these players are from the east. Um, or at least live in East. We got Asajj Ventress with expertise, so she can change all her eyeball results to hits. And she's got Dengar, so she can reroll two dice versus name pilots. She's got Glitter Stim and Countermeasure, so she can pop for defensive purposes. Glitter Stim allows her to change an eyeball result on hit, uh, on attacks and on defense to successes and countermeasures allows her to shuck off a target lock and get an extra green die. So she's looking to hit hard and not take any hits herself. Yep. She doesn't have lats. That, that is wild. Yeah. Um, so she's actually going to be taking damage from these imp aces if they both <laughs> point at her. That's right. And we've got Thweek, a, th a slim Thweek. Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, he's got fire control system, so he can acquire a target lock on the target he has just shot at. He's got auto thrusters and both the titles Star Viper Mark II and Virago. Uh, and then we've got Sunny Bounder with an ion cannon and the Heavy Sick title. So the Heavy Sick is going to give him an extra hull point, which is great. Keeps him alive a lot longer. And I find when I'm flying a Sick, that extra hull really, really matters. Otherwise, they pop immediately, it seems. Um, all right. I don't know, man. Uh, and uh, uh, the Ion Cannon is the poss at least holds out the possibility of some control here. Um, but it's not going to be easy to get the Ion Cannon shots through on the imp aces. I think the only chance I have of getting it through is on your, but... I mean, you want to get rid of that Emperor Palpatine pretty much as quick as you can, or else you're not going to be doing damage to anything. Yeah. And over on the right side, we got... Oh, so now on the left side... <laughs> we now have the correct sides up. So we've got your Palp Aces with Quick Draw, with Expertise Fire Control System, Lightweight Frame, and the Special Ops Training. We've got the Inquisitor with Push the Limit, Auto Thrusters, and the TIE V1 title. And Captain Yor in the shuttle with the Collision Detector and Al Emperor Palpatine. Now, of course, if folks don't know, the great thing about Yor is that he can take a stress. So if one of his allies gets hit with a stress for whatever reason, and he's in range two of them, he can take a stress instead of that ally up to three, uh, up to, so he up, goes up to three and not beyond. His ability shuts off if he has three stress. Right. So that's enormous in this matchup because uh, a lot of Asajj's strategy depends on throwing stress on people. Um, and York can just take it instead of the aces. Um, so he's a stress bucket. Um, and most of the time nowadays when we see this, uh, what's being called Howard, the new Howard aces uh, <laughs> list, um, York comes into the fight so um, that his ability can be utilized to its fullest potential. So do we know how Thweek used his ability here? Do we think he just took the pilot skill of quick draw? Yeah. Um, or else he would move just now. Right. And it's the right choice. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, the Inquisitor's ability is cool. Uh, so Hyperloops asks, what did Thweek assign? Uh, it seems, Hyperloops, that uh, Thweek has shadowed Quick Draw. So he has taken her PS. And Asajj is coming in fast, burning in fast. <laughs> Inquisitor doesn't want to seem to face her straight head on there. Yeah. I don't know. I think you could tank it a little bit. 
When I'm flying quick draw, I find one of the important parts of the early strategy is to decide when to commit her. She's right. A, she's a powerhouse, but she will go down under heavy firepower or unlucky dice. Um, <coughs> pardon me. So you got to find a good angle of attack and go in. And usually once you've committed quick draw, you've committed her for her three shields. She's going to lose those three shields in this exchange and... Um, you want to get as much damage through right, as possible. Right, then her ability is turned off. So you usually want to get her in at range one. And get a good exchange. Plus, with Palp here, it's possible for Quick Draw to lose no more than one shield in the exchange, which right. is what Quick Draw wants. Living the dream. Yeah. I mean, then she's God, right? Then she's like, okay, go ahead. Let's do another exchange, and I'll <laughs> double tap you again. Um... All right, so he's rolling quick draw in front of the shuttle so he can stall and bump. So on Daniel's side, what do you think his plan is here? Who's his first target? It's tempting to go for Asajj first, but she'll take a long time. Right. So if, they can, if those imp aces can get to Thweek and get him off the board... Uh, that would be a first priority. Right, because Thweek is going to be a huge pain. And it looks like Matt is just going to roll Thweek into a jousting position against the imp, imp aces. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I've never flown a Star Viper myself, but I don't think you want to be jousting with all those aces. No. I mean, without Glitter Stim, he's got one token around, and that's it. Right. Um, so he really needs to flank here. Maybe this is a feint. Maybe he'll hard one and then barrel roll back once the aces have committed themselves. So the new barrel roll uh, is so much fun. <laughs> I don't know how anyone can visualize where it's going to put their ships. Yeah, it, it takes some practice. So and it's good for confusing your opponents if yeah. they don't have practice with it. But you can, you can do things like, even with a lower PS one, like I was flying Guri for a bit, and you can three bank her and then barrel roll to the left and, and forward. So you come up perfectly uh, to the side, perfectly perpendicular to your opponent's jousting angle. Right. It's really good. <laughs> if they don't see that coming, they're like, what? <laughs> what just happened here? All right. Back to dials here. So what do you think uh, Matt should do with that Asajj? I think, ideally, you just want to get in there and throw as much damage as you can onto that shuttle, get Palpatine out of here. Because you're never going to take those aces out while Palpatine is still there. Hmm. So you think maybe a, a five straight here for Asajj and just get behind the shuttle to get to work on it? Um, well, a five straight is going to be like right beside that rock, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's doing a two. Two straight. <laughs> Hoping somebody flies into that mobile firing arc, I guess. Yeah. It's a pretty good chance yeah. of the Inquisitor ending up there. Yeah, true. <coughs> and we do have a three bank from the Inquisitor. Fairly aggressive move. Yeah, for sure. So, Tron 999 asks, does Asajj have the tractor? She does not have the title. <coughs> Alright, looks like Inquisitor took a lock on Asajj. Mm -hmm. It may be that uh, Daniel is trying to get Matt to spend his countermeasures early. Ah, yeah. Get that out of the way. Yeah. 
you look at the cap? Did I lose the what? The cap? The big question is, what did Matt do with Thweek? I'm very curious to see. Pardon me. Maybe he's going for straight joust. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I imagine we'll see. Oh, you already went, right? He just drove into the back of Quick Draw. <coughs> yep. So, we have the stress. Oh, I guess that triangle shaped token is a focus token. Right. And the stress from the Inquisitor's push went to your. Exactly. So he's already loading up your. And your can hold up to what? Three stress tokens? Yeah. Okay. So he, he can go higher than that, obviously, but once he has three, he can no longer take any. Right, he can't take them from his friends. Yeah. So it's easiest for you to try to do it here than try to interact with the stuff they have. So if you want to respond to anything, just get here. So we're waiting on Quick Draw's actions right now. I checked the audio, it sounds good. All right, looks like Thweek is turning out of there, not going for the straight up Joe's. Oh, good. I was really, really afraid. <laughs> I know you were. That uh, Thweek would just get wiped off the board. I think Thweek holds a special place in all of our hearts. Barrel rolling to come around. It's an unusual choice for the barrel roll. You must be setting up for a uh, sloop next turn. Do you think a sloop? You don't think he's going to try to bank up and around that rock, come in with the rest of the squad? Well, the the fastest turn that uh, that the Star Viper has is a two. Okay, right. So it would be slow work. Without the, the three turn, the ships move pretty slowly. Looks like... Inquisitor checking for a shot on Asajj here. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we saw Asajj pop that countermeasures this turn, so. No. So she'll most likely take a damage here, but one damage is not the end of the world for her. No. Quick draw is what looks like out of range. Okay, well, that's great. So. He's deciding what to do with that. Right, because he's going to be taking a shot right back at him. Yeah, but he also has Palpatine. Oh, true. So he spends the focus, and it becomes three. And we've got one evade, so Asajj will take two, two damage. Two shields. Yeah, it's probably a little more than she wants to take on a round in which she's not going to do much herself. Right. But long term, a, th a three bank sticks her in a nice position next round. And if that's the plan here, get behind the shuttle. I think two shields isn't a huge price to pay for that. Yeah. Well, let's see what, what she can do against the Inquisitor here. Range three, but full mods from expertise in Dengar. Yeah, absolutely. But there's a rock. So Dengar, Dengar and Emir too. Right. The Inquisitor don't care about that. <laughs> yeah, that you don't care. That's not going to do anything. No. Do you know who has joined second class mission? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the Imperial player, Daniel, has an issue. Uh, good point, Elric Stormbringer. Uh, the Star Viper can do a one bank and then do a barrel roll of duckery to end up in almost as good a position as the sloop would put him in, with no stress. All right, looks like no more shots this round. Getting ready to go back to the dials. Yeah, nothing for your. Um, okay. So do the imps take the bait and chase Sleek? Or do they turn and see if Sunny Bounder comes into play? 
or turn very hard and mm -hmm. put guns on Asajj? I think they've already done two damage on Asajj. I mean, if it was me, I'd probably just continue with that, but it might not be the right choice. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I like the aggro move, too. And I think that it's that if uh, the Inquisitor does a one turn and Quick Draw does a two turn, uh, there's little chance that Thweak is going to get shots on them this round. Right. Thweak seems a little bit out there. They're not super afraid of him at this moment. Yeah, and I mean, he's he'll have a... If he does do a barrel roll, he'll have no mods on the shot, so they don't care. Uh, Sunny is not a huge threat. He'll have no. one focus token to modify a ion cannon shot, so they just need to tank that one shot. So, yeah, I don't think those aces are afraid of that ion cannon right now. If both of these other guys were on uh, quick draw, let's say, um, and shooting at her, uh, and they stripped her tokens and used up the Palpatine for the round, then Sunny Bounders oh, Ion Cannon. that would be amazing, but yeah. we're not quite there yet. No. So he's doing a cautious move from Sunny, which is a good call. Yor does a two straight. That's uh, a green move, right? Yeah, it Clearing is. out that stress so he can continue to take more. It's an interesting choice. I thought he might bank one to the left. Just uh, to have some arc going on there. Yeah, but he may be thinking, okay, Asajj is going to get behind me. I'm going to start doing three straights. Right. And just keep him running. There tend to be two philosophies for flying palp shuttles. Uh, one is the commit it, use it up. Com yeah. And the other That's one's a gun. run away. Okay, two straight. That, I think, might be overly cautious on Matt's part. Yeah, so that's it's not even range of the shuttle at this point, right? So. And it is the one turn. All right, going for it. Yeah, so Asajj is going to have to pop those consumables this round. It's a great spot for the Inquisitor, though. I mean, uh, Sunny's got a shot, but it's through a rock. Yeah, it's not a very good shot. Nope. If I'm the Inquisitor, I'm not scared. Now, of course, uh, Daniel has to remember uh, to to put the stress from the Inquisitor on your, or else Asajj will double stress him. Right. And then leave him that way for the next round. So your works range one to two, right? One to Same two. with yeah. Asajj? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I think here you want a PTL because you want to put as much pressure oh, on Oh, absolutely. Asajj There's no possible. reason not to put that stress on your. Yeah, I mean, that's what your is for. That's why you're spending the points. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, a three bank. It's not what we would have guessed. No. Maybe. I guess he's going for a shot on Thweek, I, I would assume. I th I, yeah, it must be that uh, Dan... Putting the pressure on both of his ships at once yeah. instead of focus firing. Good morning to you, at Crow. I'm afraid to talk to people in the chat because I feel like I'll say all their usernames incorrectly. Most people have it coming. They've got really dumb names, <laughs> so you know you mispronounce and it's their fault. Oh yep, see there's the one hard from Thwee. So in a barrel roll. He's going to try to dodge Quick Draw's arc. Uh, right. I think he does. May well. We'll have it's to hard see. To, it's hard to see from the computer screen. Yeah. Uh, are we going to get the Howards on stream? Well, at least one of the... Astron 99, uh, We're going to try. The the Howards are... Well, at least Duncan is, is famously uh, skittish. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, we'll see Some what Moody's in. Some people have a curse on the stream, and they don't want that. Yeah. I get nervous enough just playing a normal game of X-Wing at a tournament. Don't need the extra stress. So, uh, Saj is throwing stress on the Inquisitor. Right. And 
they're talking about something. And I don't think it's a rules quandary. It's just a talk my strategy out moment. Can you remind me again how Assage works? What just happened here? Yeah. <laughs> So, Kutra oh, has Ark. does have Ark. That is really bad for Thweek. Thweek is tokenless. Oh, yeah, because he did a if, barrel roll. So, if Thweek and Sunny shoot at Quick Draw, and Quick Draw feels like letting a damage through, she'll double tap. Right, and Quick Draw is ready to hit like a truck. Expertise, FCS. Yep. yep. I think these guys will only get damaged through if Quick Draw feels like letting them get damaged through. All right, so... We are on combat phase. Uh, I don't think Asajj popped any consumables. Okay. I don't see any of the cards on the table. It's quick draw. For wow. three, wow. And... Oh, at oh, Sunny. Shot at Sunny. Get your target and lock. Sunny Get your target dodged lock. it. Forget your target lock. <laughs> FCS, FCS. Ah, oh, he's going to forget it. Gosh damn. First run of combat, I always forget things like that. And then you'll never forget again. You're like, ugh. Yeah, we should be gentle. First round of the day. And Thweek rolls trip natties. Okay, That's pretty well, nice. you know. Uh, didn't forget FCS there. Okay, so Quick Draw is going to take the damage. Uh, he didn't palp, I think. Just deciding to spend the focus for yep. one evade. And Quick Draw loses two shields. Two shields. That is a huge blow this early in the game. She had to take in that first shot on Thweek, you know. Yep. Oh. Uh, he's, he's, looks like Matt was kind enough to let him take his FCS a little bit late. Yep. Sportsmanship. It's good. You know it's going to be there. It's like. And so Quick Draw shoots again at Sunny. Looks like she'll get two damage on him. No crits, though. Uh, okay, so where are we at now? Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Oh, Aiming at Sunny. Maybe. Quick think... draws is down to one shield. Yeah, Inquisitor hasn't lost any. So Dan is deciding whether or not he feels lucky. And if he does, he's going to take the shot on Sunny and try to wipe her off the board. Yeah. I guess realistically, he's not going to get very much through on Asajj anyway, so. Is that two and a focus? Yep. Spending it for three. I guess he's holding on for the Palpatine, so another damage on Thweek. <laughs> the little fist bump of, yes, Sonny's still alive. So Sonny's got one shield remaining. And now it's Asajj, which must be what um, Dan is saving his Palpatine for. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Rather not take damage than give a little oh. extra. Oh, he's going for quick draw. Yeah, that's a great call. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, here come the dice. Oh, quick draw. Is that through a rock? Yeah. yeah, I think so. But it doesn't matter. For two hits. Yeah. Uh, quick draw would get the... So quick draw does not get four dice. She just gets three. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well... That's a misplay, but whatever. <laughs> like right oh, after. Oh no, she does get. Sorry, it was range three through a rock. So she yeah. starts with two, and then she gets one for range and one for the rock. My mistake. Lightweight right, frame. Right, you were thinking lightweight frame. Doesn't help her here because uh, she already has more uh, dice than uh, attack dice being rolled at her. Um, poor Yor had no shot. No. We're not surprised. And Sunny is taking the ion cannon shot on. Quick See draw. if you can get rid of that last shield, right? And Shut off that ability. Yeah, and all, at the same time, no, nothing. <laughs> uh, 
All right. So, what happens now? I mean, I, I would assume that Matt is going to try and finish off this quick draw at this point. Get that last shield. Fleek and Sunny are both set up to go right at her. Yep. And Asajj can do a beautiful three turn here um, and flank your. Right. Yeah. Probably shut off uh, uh, Inquisitor's roots out. And uh, also shoot quick draw. Quick draw still has that shield, so she'll go down in the blaze down of swinging. war. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you're Daniel, do you try to finish off Sunny, or do you just leave her floating around and start trying to kill something more painful? Since Passage got quick draw's last shield, that right? Yep, it looks like that's correct. So, in fact, quick draw won't go down in a blaze of glory. Well, she might. We'll see. But she doesn't have her double tap. Um, okay. Yeah. Kill Sunny? I think you have to. Get a ship off the board. Get something off the board. Yeah, that ion cannon's not that frightening, but it's still another shot that you have to try to dodge. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually pretty awesome if you have an Atani Mind Link build and you've got a sick, like, an Aldra. Right. With, with Atani Mind Link, because then you've got two tokens. You can get a lot kind of focus. <laughs> and then it's scary. But it looks like Sunny Sunny's is... chickening out, running away. Yeah. Well, I mean... She's... Point Fortress now. <laughs> <laughs> it was that. 19 point, point Fortress. I mean, it is the scum faction. It's like, uh, this job's no good. Drive I'm in, take home. a shot, leave. Yeah. Here comes that bank one. Dropping the stress. And... Um, yeah, look at that. Gets an action this turn. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, is that the hard three that you called? Oh, just a two. Oh, that'll work too. Keep it closer. Yep. Uh, the dilemma of moving your opponent's ships for them when they're big and fragile. <laughs> Don't break my ship. Yeah. I don't know. If they're very fragile, I've got to the point where I'm just like, I'm breaking your ship. <laughs> you want me to move it? I'm going to break it. Yesterday, somebody was moving my ghost, and they're like, Oh, this is actually on there really good. They're like, what kind of peg are you using? I'm like, I must have just got one of the good ones. My ghost's pretty solid, too. Except it's a little cocked, so I have to look at the base every time <laughs> and not the ship itself. So these guys are both They're from parts east. Um, Matt, as we mentioned, is from Halifax. Um, and... He games out there, and it's a pretty good scene, he said. Uh, now, his group doesn't have a name, so you Haligonians, get a name. Get a <laughs> Everybody crew. has a name squadron. It's how you know you're legit. Yeah. I mean, seriously. If we're going to take you seriously, you need some cool name. Oh, Quiz looks like wow. it just sneaks in there. Good call, Dan. Good call. Very nice. I mean, that is range one in Arc of Asajj, but Asajj is... Probably not shooting the Inquisitor. Asajj doesn't have Palp on her side. Yeah. And a token stack, I'm going to imagine, is about to happen. Well, and the Inquisitor still has his lock on Asajj. Yeah. So he can actually... He could boost barrel roll to get behind her. Or barrel roll boost, rather. It, well, it appears that Daniel is thinking about his actions right now. Looks like our clock is accurate with 43 minutes left in the round. Wow. <laughs> you know, that, that's down to DJR5. He is our producer today. A plus producing over here. Yes. The best droid. Get out of the way, <laughs> BBA. Um, and, uh, of course, Everything VTTV Live does is pretty fabulous. Look at this beautiful uh, design. Um, 
look at the quality of this screen. Uh, the talent they, today might leave something to be desired. They were they were very organized in helping us figure our crap out, so we had some idea of what we were doing today. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you do want to support VTTV, they do have a Patreon now, so... You can go online and check that out and give these guys a little cash. Uh, and that would be great because we run a lot of... They've got everything in content. Toronto. Yeah. There's also another stream going on currently for... What are they streaming right now? Legend of the Five Rings on VTTV Live 2 on Twitch. Awesome. Big. Okay, we've got the Inquisitor just avoiding Asajj's arc. Oh. Defense uh, is the best offense. But Quick Draw is going to get it. Yeah. Holy smolies. Did you hear how many players we have here today? Looks like they're talking about it in the chat right now. Uh, I think we have upwards of 70 today. Yeah, so there are a lot of games going on right now. It's a little loud in here. So Asajj's stress is put on your wherever it went in the first place. I think quick draw may be history. Yeah, Fleek's got a nice shot there. And trading quick draw for Sunny Bounder is not an advantageous <laughs> trade. She goes, got her target lock for two and a crit, and Sunny is goners. Bye, Sunny. All because of that FCS that he originally forgot. Yep. Nice range one from Fleek. We've got Palpatine here. I imagine this is where you want to use it, too. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty nice roll. I don't know. Oh, I see. He's thinking about yours shot later. Spend it, spend it. Oh, he's target locking it. Well, oh. worked out. So three nice. and a crit. That's beautiful. Yep. Palp. Oh, no. Lightweight frames. Oh, no. Oh. Even if he palps, he's toast. Well, he has to palp beforehand, right? right? Yeah. It doesn't look like he's got a token to declare that. So. Oh, Sunny for quick draw. Ugh. And. Yep. So with quick draw and the lightweight frames, uh, work and their interaction with uh, Emperor Palpatine. Right. So you, you can ha call it when you roll your lightweight frame die. Yeah. So you can call it on either of the sets, the two or the third. Uh, I'm not sure who that was. Asajj. Asajj. On the shuttle. Uh, yeah. So she gets the damage through. Okay. The Inquisitor has a really hard game here. One damage on your. Yep. One more damage on your. Just uh, one. Sorry, just one. One total. One total. <laughs> we are confusing our producer. <laughs> the good news is the Inquisitor's behind Asajj. And there's not much Asajj can do about that, except, of course, rotate Turner her arc. back arc. Which is an action, correct? Yes, it is. Um... But she does have the consumable, so in a round that she does so, she can glitter stick. Right, her if she wants a shot, control. yeah. Oh, we still got the shot of Yor. Yor onto Fleet. Is he going to Palpatine here? It's the last shot of the round. So he did Palp here. And he gets. And Fleek is scot free. Gotta say, it's probably looking good for. Mad at this point. It is. It's looking really good for him. Uh, Asajj has lost two shields. Weak is full health. Inquisitor is kind of running away right now. He's going to have to turn around and get back into this fight. Yeah. York can't stall, so... Looks like Yor could bank one left and block a two turn for Massage uh, to hold her in place, make her unable to turn her arc so the Inquisitor could swing in behind her. But 
Uh, if he does that, Thweek probably just... Lays right into him. Yeah, gets out of his arc and stays out of his arc. Right, because you're a stress, so it's not like he can turn around with a hard two to try and fire on Asajj, so yeah. he's got to go straight or bank. I was skeptical about Matt sitting on his uh, Glitter Steam and Counter Measures earlier, but seems this, like the right choice now. This end game now, it's it's just so much for the Inquisitor to deal with. See, Matt knew what he was doing. Guess he did. <laughs> we don't know anything. That's why we're back here. Yeah. While well, we're sitting it out, how was your day yesterday, Em? My day yesterday, I went 3-3, three and three, so it was alright. It was a very well-run tournament. It was a good day. We're in a nice hotel, so it wasn't mm -hmm. super hot in here, and we had cold water provided to us, so I have no complaints. Yep. I saw you ended up going 4-2, and two, so that means you make the cut to day two. Yes, I've got to come back on Sunday um, and hurt my feet some more by playing many games standing up. Well, maybe <laughs> many games. 4-2 uh, and two means I'm not particularly well set up for... Uh, the top cut, but I'll give it a try. Right, because anyone who goes four and two or better in these first two days will make it to day three, or sorry, day two, in mm -hmm. which they play two more rounds of Swiss with a, a cut to the top eight. So yeah, if right. you're going in at four and two, you're going to have to play real hard and win really, really well. Yeah. My MOV is okay. I think I was topped rank. Uh, of the four and twos yesterday um, but that still doesn't seem to me like it's good enough I don't know I'm not worrying about the math I'll just yeah. go and play and see what happens how right, about so you R5 how did you do uh, he made sad droid noises <laughs> alright so it looks like your was, did not block off a Saj like you thought may happen so Saj looks ready to just lay into your there along with Thweek yeah, I mean, if, if most of the turns Thweek would do are blocked by Yor, so he's willing to get shot by Asajj if he doesn't get True. Sh shot by Thweek. But I think that suits Matt pretty well, actually. Inquisitor's still not pointing at any of his ships, still floating around in the back there. So he did a one turn, and now he's considering boosting and barrel rolling. Can he do it? Can he get there with the boost and barrel roll? I don't think so. Mm, doesn't look like it. But he can get in tighter on her six. Because next round she will not be able to do a turn to the left with Yor there. Supposing Yor is still alive. Which he probably will be. Yeah, the structure of the tournament is interesting. Um, I like the second day uh, with people with a certain uh, what do you call it uh, score it's nice back. when you, as long as your record is that your MOV is not what's keeping you out right because yeah. that's a heartbreaker when you're like oh I lost by four MOV yeah uh, I've been many times <laughs> in that situation so he is doing the barrel roll he's trying for it Now, I can't see Asajj's mobile arc, but I don't believe she turned it. Did you? No, I don't think so. So it's pointing northwards. And hopefully the Inquisitor is not in the One mobile bank arc. from Fleek. Or this game is over. Three oh, bank. three bank. I don't know why I said one. Driving into your. So that's not so bad for Thweek. He can take a <laughs> not getting probably shot at. inefficient shot at uh, the Inquisitor, but then he's got a target lock. <laughs> Free action, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Although the Inquisitor does not have an evade token or a focus token. That's true. The Inquisitor's in the Sasha's arc. Oh, arc. barrel rolled into it. He did. That's devastating. That's a mistake. Yeah, wow. Double stress now. That's 
That sucks a little. Wait a minute, he's still range two of your. He can stick it on your. Is that range two of your? Oh, I think. No, he's not. Mm. Oh, brutal. Oh, the weak doesn't look like he has a shot. Yeah, it's okay. Got that extra stress on there. You're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so here's the Inquisitor's aspirational shot. One damage. Oh, spending the lock. Oh, the lock. Two. Man, he just oh. rolls natties. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. When those green dice are good, they're really good. Yeah. And Asajj oh, is going to shoot one. the Inquisitor. Asajj still didn't spend any of the, uh, I guess, expertise in Dengar. You don't need to. Man. And so that's taking you know, two on the Inquisitor. He's in the mobile arc. He shouldn't take that. Oh, well. So. Oh, right. Auto Thruster should not kick yeah. in because it's a printed arc. Yeah. Um, so we're not here to correct the player's mistakes today that only in the case of job. severe problems will we do that um okay did he forget that he could use palp on the on the inquisitors of Averil? Um, unless he called it when um I don't know. I don't. Quiz did take damage. Took two shields, right? Yes. The Inquisitor is shieldless. Oh, he used the palp, not Oh, okay. That makes sense. See, this uh, is why we have the chat 90, open. 1996. So... Do you just stay where you are if you're your? I think you do. Yeah, I don't see why not. You want to maybe quiz comes in around so he's not getting even more stress, right? He wants to be closer to your. Yeah. And then that doesn't, Asajj is going to have to either bump into your or fly in front of him, right? Like yours sitting right in the way there. Yeah. Yep. So traffic jam. Traffic jam. Yep. Best option for uh, for Daniel, I think. Yeah, that's not gonna clear. No. Flying into your. <laughs> Something's so gonna have to come off the base here. Earned himself a little reprieve. Massage isn't too mad about losing her action, though. It does rotate her arc a little bit. I mean, insofar as the ship turned a little bit. Just a tiny bit. It puts that huge side arc yeah, a little bit but that way. Yeah. I imagine Inquisitor is going to be able to avoid that this time. I think a hard one will escape it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is so the hardest part of X-Wing. Some awesome train track action going on here. <laughs> Look how worn well done, that guys. one bank is. Indeed. I love seeing a, a well-used cardboard template. Yeah. Nothing says I play real X-Wing like some <laughs> yeah. beaten up old cardboard ones. Looks like the Inquisitor's out of that mobile arc. Let's see what Thweek does. One straight. Is that going to clear? I don't That's think That's going so. nowhere. No, traffic jam thanks to your. Well, the Inquisitor may well have escaped certain death there. Yeah, or absolutely. very likely death. We are checking, though, because that does look close. Oh, not once you lay down the template. Mm. 
<laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, folks. No better way to spend it than playing hours upon hours upon hours of X-Wing. There might be a better way, but <laughs> this is the one You're we're doing. You're not a true X-Winger, then. Yeah. So, this is, what, Fleek on the Inquisitor? Just one. And Got that target lock. Here's the target lock. And two evades. Yeah, good to go. Soon we will see the return fire. It's a good shot opportunity for the Inquisitor on this week because uh, the because week won't get auto thrusters versus the Inquisitor. Right. Uh, Elric Stormbringer asks, "How was Quinn's last night?" Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, people were pretty tired. That was the kegger yeah. the Prototype Toronto League held last night. and uh, It was not a crazy party by any no. means. <laughs> everyone was going, oh, it's nice to put my feet up for a minute. Yeah. Uh, and uh, everyone ate big, and then many of us, like me, just went home, sadly. So, <laughs> I was uh, in bed at 10.30. There are no stories of capers, at least that I've heard this morning. So what is taking so long here? I it should be Inquisitor shooting at Thweek right now, right? Yeah, I think uh, Daniel's just making up his mind about what he wants to do. Oh, right, because he's got that range one on Asajj as well. He does, and it doesn't seem like Asajj is used or consumables. That's true, and she's no tokens or anything. So he's got two tokenless shots, but he's got unmodified dice. So hit crit. Let's see who put that on. Uh, so one damage to Thweek. There goes the shield. Oh, he must have palped in uh, on that other crit result. That was a good call on Daniel's part. Unfortunately, it didn't work for him. So, we are back to dials. Yep. Me. So with your, I, do you think he's just gonna bump again? Like he's kind of got his arc in a good direction based on where the other ships are. I don't see why he would do anything else. Yeah. Force Matt to maneuver his ships out of there. Yeah, Asajj has to get out. She cannot do a straight maneuver. I don't think. Uh, yeah, a four straight would put her on that rock. So she's got a three turn. I uh, don't even think a three bank to the left will clear. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in front of her. And a three turn might hit that rock. So, yeah, I gotta agree. I think this is looking in Matt's favor, in my opinion. Because Inquisitor has already lost both of his shields, right? And then once it's just down to Yor, just lay it into him. Yor's still in pretty good shape, though. True. Mm, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens here. You never know. It can turn around real fast. People are suggesting that the optimal strategy for Daniel now is to try to half-point Asajj, get a block on her, and then shoot at her while she's um, defenseless. But you have to remember, she hasn't spent Glitter Stimmer countermeasures. So if she pops both of those, let's say she gets blocked, doesn't fully escape, and then pops both of those, that round of the Inquisitor's shooting will not go anywhere. Uh, like, yes. It might do one damage. If he's you go, oh, very, you want to roll lucky. dice? That's cute. Yeah. Now, that's probably not optimal for Asajj, but because you choose to use your Glitter Stim and countermeasures at the top of the combat phase, it's something she could do at any time. Are you good to start about three minutes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Thinking really hard about your over here. Uh, T bets ninety four jokes. Your the end game <laughs> ship, definitely. Your has this. Oh, 
I didn't see that dial, but I don't think he went anywhere. And Asajj is trying the three deck. Oh, she's way clear. I was totally wrong. <laughs> you can't judge yeah. these from this computer screen, can you? No. It is, it is a lot more difficult, although I can't judge it while I'm playing my own games anyway. Now, do we see her move her arc? Yes, we do. <laughs> it's nice when the ship isn't on there so we can actually see that mobile firing arc. I think my opponent played me yesterday on stream without the ghost on on its... Most, uh, yeah. Was his broken or something? I just no, I played him the round after you and he had it on the base. I think he was just nervous about being on stream and didn't want to slap the thing around every time he picked it up. Well, he knew that he was going in as the hated side as a ghost fan. Yeah, well, I mean, that's something you accept uh, as a ghost fan player. How did you <laughs> feel about that? You're telling me. You're telling me. How did you deal with the hate yesterday? I just smiled because I'm uh -huh. so cute. Yeah. Well, that helps. No one can be mad at me. I, I don't have that advantage. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I just don't play ghost fan. Soon fell 13. The Pinkertons may turn up at some point or other. Yep, they are here we today. They're also a little bit uh, coy about being on stream. We've got an aggressive two bank from Freak. Does he clear that? He's going to clear, I think. The and then go right face to face against the Inquisitor. The question is whether or not he bumps the Inquisitor. It's a good call either way. If he does bump him, then he gets behind him next round. Right. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a bump. So as the disembodied voice is saying, there's only 20 minutes left in the round. So Matt's got himself out of last round's somewhat unhappy situation yeah <laughs> oh he's popping some consumables this Whoa, time. both at the same time yeah i guess both of daniel's ships have to shoot at asajj this round they don't have fleek yeah now if you're asajj do you take your shots on the inquisitor um i think i do. think we see if he spends that focus token or not on this attack so here comes the Inquisitor with two, oh, just one. No, he's being cautious and Massage yeah. cannot be hit. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know if Massage is going to be able to hit the Inquisitor, honestly. I think the Massage forgot to assign stress this round. That's her own stress. Oh, right. Right, to sign stress to someone else. I think the stress that's on your was from the Inquisitor's PTL. Must be getting Dengar, stressed out over there. Four dice, so she's shooting the shuttle. Yeah. Just getting it to half points, right. Kill that thing. Yeah. So he's gonna is he gonna palp this? He does not. So the shuttle's down to half points. Half points on your Yeah. Is this the return fire from yep. your? So, Asajj is going to take one. That's her last shield. But that is not yet. She's not too mad about that, no. I don't think. Uh, your should be at no shields. Both your and Asajj are shieldless. Yeah. And the Inquisitor. There's no shields in this game right now. No, everybody's exactly at no shields. Ah. All right, let the crits begin. Yes. <laughs> That's where it gets interesting. This is where you like having a mangler cannon. And then it just feels like a party. Every time you shoot, you go, crits, crits, crits. <laughs> and uh, it's really great when you have a mangler cannon and you roll a crit naturally, and then you change one of your hits to a crit. It feels totally like being spoiled. Especially if you're fighting a shieldless ghost. Then it, oh, my God. Then it's hard to help cackling. Yeah, and as that ghost, you're like, oh, look, I've got a variety of almost every single crit available now on my ship. Damaged engine, <laughs> damaged cockpit. My favorite is when your first damage card is a major hull breach. Yeah. That's happened to me before. You can clear that, though. You didn't used to be able to clear that with the old damage deck. 
And it took me a while to realize that you can actually flip that thing. Can you? Yeah. It takes an action, but okay. you can just flip it. You're driving into Saj. Here he goes. He had no choice. He was stressed. Yeah. Not much Yor can do movement-wise, really. I mean... He's still facing in a good direction. He's still contributing. Like He's got that arc, depending on where Asajj goes, but... Although, as soon as there's something behind Yor, he's like, uh, I'm never shooting again. Hey. Just a two straight. Yeah, sort of midpoint of all his choices. He'll just evade with that. Nobody's putting those ships back on the bases. <laughs> How many players today? Asked soon to your fell thirteen. We've got about seventy today. We had about fifty some yesterday. So all told, uh, Nationals is seeing about one hundred and twenty. Um, I think that's about the same as it was yeah, last year. That's about what we would expect to get. Yeah. Some of these people traveled quite far, too. They did, It's yeah. very surprising. They just love to come to Canada and try and steal our prizes. Yep. <laughs> and some of them, like these guys, are from parts east. Uh, Daniel is living in Montreal. Uh, he's originally from Whitby. Um, but uh, he's going to school in Montreal, and he doesn't play much X-Wing there, he says, actually. So it had been a while before this game. A little rusty, but yeah. seems to be doing all right. He's uh, woken up in the end game here. It's not easy to, to play ships like the Inquisitor. You definitely need to know what you're doing. Yeah, well, he's done pretty well with the Inquisitor uh, in the last couple of rounds. But now he's getting shot from both sides. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so, Asajj is throwing another stress on your. And this is what you need to do if you have a stress throwing list. You need to consistently stress load your so you shut his ability off. Right. All right, looks like he's trying to finish off your. Kill the shuttle, kill the shuttle. Oh, big blank out. Well, why didn't he do his things? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I see. It wasn't his turn to shoot. So Asajj takes another damage. Is that a crit? Oh, hallelujah. What is the crit? It is a crit. I think... Show the camera. Oh, he flipped it. He's blinded pilot. Okay. In that case. Did Tweak forget to shoot? I think that first shot where you said, oh, why didn't you use her things, that was Tweak's shot. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'll go look and see what that was. <laughs> the lights are too bright. Ooh, looks like Asajj is taking a few more hits. Two more hits and a crit. Couldn't see that at all. You can see that? <laughs> oh. He can hear them. Oh. I didn't need to do that then. Well, that was a huge swing. Yeah, wow. Asajj is, uh, she took some major damage there. And she's lost an agility die. The Inquisitor could very well take her out this round. Oh. Along with yours, help. Yeah, you're still in decent shape, and he's facing the right way, which you don't usually expect to see this late. Yeah, you know, honestly, one of the things I've always been afraid of in X-Wing is the PALP shuttle. I have spent so much effort trying to get behind it, trying to dodge that arc. Like I've I'm, always been one to just plow right in there, not care about anything else, and just kill it till yeah. it's dead. Yeah, 
I, I guess I, I go with the alternate strategy and end up working on the aces too much. Yeah, this this is, seems to have swung around in the opposite direction. Asajj has to f fix that agility, or she has to try. You know, maybe she'll be better off with only three hull just evading. But then he's basically trading Asajj out for whatever he can get. Well, what's his fastest move with Asajj there? Can he run away, get rid of that crit, and come back in? He can do a five straight. I think that, that might go over that rock. He could do a three bank to the left or a hard turn either way, but the hard turns will stay in yours arc. Let's assume yours is doing a two straight. Right. Um, Possibly a one bank just to kind of straighten out the arc. I don't know. We'll see. I'd be afraid of losing arc in that case, the one bank. Really? Okay. Losing bank on the Inquisitor, that is. Wow, this game's just swung so hard. Yeah. Matt must be in that state of mind where you're just stunned standing there. You're like, yeah, I was doing great. Oh, crap. Oh, yep, going for the two straight. You called it. Yeah, I agree, VTG, V Live. <clears throat> R5. Tabik really has to get in there and do some work. Time for him to kill the Inquisitor. Two turn. Hmm. He's going to try to save himself. At this point... She doesn't have a shot. He's rotating the arc. But at only three health, the Inquisitor may well take her off the Yeah. Board. Yeah, Five she straight. wanted oh. either an evade or to get rid of that crit. How did Matt call that? <laughs> I think the boost will still give him mark. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think it's worth a shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, going for it. I don't see why not. Yeah, that was... Oh, slipped his template. Oh, I think he would have had it if he didn't slip that template. Oh, I don't think he wants to go forward. He's trying to get the shot this round. Yeah, yeah. And he uh, can pop I... in a crit somewhere. Yep. Oh, that, I think this might be the end of our dear Asajj. Well, only 10 minutes left. Oh, that's true. I was not watching the clock. That's always important to consider. <laughs> so, what do you do if you're three? Take the long range shot? boost and try to stay relevant you want to get in as close to your as you can get a really good shot on him but well right now he's got no modifications to shoot at you and with. is he on that rock oh yeah, he can't move boost. right it's a boost so he'll just have to focus and take his shots on your yeah you try a barrel roll of duckery but I don't see how that does anything better for him than the focus yeah no I think you're right focus and and pray Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's not going to be... Oh, he might be able to finish off that Yor before he gets to shoot. Not likely, I don't think. Oh. Huh. I don't think that was the right choice. Now he doesn't have a shot. No. I think he wanted that shot. So Asajj is going to... Oh, no. It's in... Is there... Oh, oh assigned the stress. The stress. stress, okay. Ah, that was the wrong move with Thweek, I think. Yeah. It's the pressure getting to him. So this is the Inquisitor shooting on Asajj. And, oh, he still has the lock. Wow. Two, Two hits. hits. Not enough to kill her. Oof. 
That's enough to hurt her real bad, though. Yep, unless a blinded pilot lands on your, most likely this is it. Yeah. So we've got two hits and a crit on your. On well, your? it could be a blinded pilot. Could yeah, be. Yeah, you can hope, but I wouldn't count on it. Weapons failure wouldn't be too bad either. He hasn't palped yet, though, has he? He has not. So hit, hit, crit. And the crit is... Crit is... I think that was loose stabilizer. I don't know. We'll know in a minute. Yor doesn't care about loose stabilizer. No, no. Not at all. Range 2 shot. It was a loose stabilizer. Yep, just range 2. With one hull left. Is he palping you the crit? Yes. She's gone. That is a dead assage. So Thweek is worth only 30 points and the Inquisitor is worth 31. We have no bid with Daniel and we have something of a bid with Thweek. So we've got a two-point bid. So Thweek is in effect worth 32 to the Inquisitor's 31. So if Thweek can kill the shuttle, which doesn't look that hard right now. No, no, that's some good math though too. Although I... Still think if he had just taken that focused shot that turn, yeah. could have already been there. All right, well, let's see what happens. Because, yeah, we only got six minutes left in this game. Down to the wire. So what sort of considerations run through your head when you're on the last ten minutes of game? Um, I hope my opponent doesn't slow play me, usually. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. no, usually... I'm like, what do I need to win here? Is it in my best interest to run away? And so in Daniel's case, he's like, well, he can't run away with Yor. Yor can't run. So he's going to have to try to kill the weak with the Inquisitor. Which is going to be rough. It, yeah, it's not going to be an easy road there. but. Well, let's see. Well, has he even done the math in his head, though, right? That's always a question. Because I know I don't usually, and it's important to know, especially in those last 10 minutes, what everything is worth. <laughs> yeah. And the Inquisitor's not in a great spot for coming back. No, on absolutely not. So we can come in hard. As here. long as Thweek doesn't do the wrong move again this time. And unfortunately, that is going to block the Inquisitor yeah. getting back around on Thweek. Sunterfell13 says, keep your alive. MOV is huge in a journey like this. Uh, I don't think there's uh, much chance of keeping your alive. He has he two can't fly remaining. away, right? He's yeah. not fast enough. Thweek just does a two-turn here and lights him up. Yeah, Thweek has no issue keeping up with a shuttle. I think that Matt is making a math error and thinks all he has to do is keep the Inquisitor alive. I think you're right, yeah. It's like if the Inquisitor runs away, I'm good to go. He didn't calculate in that, that bid. bid. Yep. So, Co Evoken asks, what's MOV? MOV is your margin of victory. So, you calculate how many points you lost and how many points uh, you killed of your opponent. And that is your margin of victory. And it's a really important tiebreaker, in, especially in a tournament like this, the four and twos. And then, in the next day, all of the six and twos. Yeah, so you report the points killed for each side. Right. And that's what you report to the judge or the scorekeeper. Um, there oh, goes there your. goes your. And uh, then uh, the winners, uh, the difference between the two points killed uh, is added to 100 to generate the winner's MOV and it's subtracted from 100 to give to get the loser's MOV. Right. So it gives Listen you Listen to Aaron, he's smarter than me. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm just really old. Um, th- so it gives you a differential between the ships left on the table right. and the ones killed. So here, do you think Thweek is going to fly in and try and get a shot on the Inquisitor, or you think he's just going to fly around for the last three minutes? It depends on who's made the math mistake here. If they both have, uh, Thweek may think he has to kill the Inquisitor and go after him. Yeah, well, because right now it looks like, like you said, the Inquisitor thinks he's winning on points, but he's not, as we said. (laughs) (laughs) Looking over, somebody's over there talking to them. Yeah. They are getting distracted when there's only two minutes left. Come on, guys. I'm going to go tell them that. I don't know what they are figuring out over there. (laughs) So, sounds like they are now trying to figure out the math themselves and see who needs to be running at this point. It looks like he's just figured out, Daniel has, that Inquisitor is not enough because of Thweek plus the bid. So he's realized he made a huge mistake running away in the last round. Now he's quickly turning around to try and get in that last kill shot. Yeah, no. Yes, I was just informed he's not going to be able to kill Thweek. There's, it's not happening. No, they were confused about it. Yeah. Well, our wonderful producer over here can hear what they're saying, oh, so course, he was keeping course. me informed. <laughs> he, he's the greatest astro droid there ever was. Although, Even better than R2D2, I think. Yeah, absolutely. The droids are the most important part of the team, always. Yeah. It looks like the week's like, you know what, show. I want all these points. I'm not running away. Let's see if I can kill the Inquisitor. He can't kill me. Oh, He's just rocking not. it at arc. Yeah, I mean, it's worth a shot. MO, like we were saying earlier, MOV <laughs> is important in a tournament like this. Uh, uh, that's not hit. doing nothing. And that's time? That's time. Time was just called in the round. 